Hi, friend. If you click check out the newest addition to Menti Cosmetics, their new matte powder bronzers, then please keep on watching. Hi, I'm Alicia. If this is your first time here, thank you so much for clicking on my video. And if you are returning, well, thank you for visiting me again. Kinky Sweat stands for my kinky hair and sweat life. I'm a fitness professional who loves things all movement and booty. If you want to check out what I do in between the makeups, you can head over to my Instagram. Very happy to present the Mented Cosmetic Bronzers. I actually have a video dedicated to the brand where I did a Mented Cosmetics haul. I bought their eyeshadow palette, their blushes, a foundation stick, nail polish. I'll leave that video link up above and down below so you could check it out and check out those products in more detail the minute when i found out they were coming out with bronzers Mented Cosmetics is a black owned business owned by KJ and Amanda. The brand name Mented came from Pigmented in looking for or rather creating a new lipstick that will be fitting for their deeper brown skin tone. They started with lipsticks and they moved into other product ranges within the cosmetic line and now they ran into bronzers and I was really excited to see what shades they had in store because it's challenging especially when you're coming out with four shades to have those four shades hit a wide spectrum of those portions of the skin tone gradient and I picked two out of the four because I'm in between light and medium I feel light fermented cosmetics is not the lightest I would say if you are fair pale fair you probably don't have a shade match within their line for instance I'm light 10 within the mented cosmetics foundation line with that said they also have a graph where they outline the foundation shades with the corresponding bronze shade. So if you're within like L10 to L40, for instance, you will be a vacay or I think is Beach Bum, which is their lightest shade, or is it vacay? Hold on, please. Yes, Beach Bum. So this is the lightest shade out of the bunch and I got vacay, which is set to be medium. And it has some, uh, it has some warmth to it. So we will try both these bronzers on. Next, of course, you have Yacht Life, which is deep brown, but then you got a really huge jump to Out of Office, which is the rich bronzer. So Yacht Life is this shade here. Out of Office is this shade here. So it's rather a large jump from the deep to rich. I'm interested to see how well the rich bronzer looks because it kind of reminds me of Benefit's Hula Toasted. It looks like it leans a little more plum versus red, which could be great because a lot of people want more of a sculpt from the bronzer versus a red tone, or people want the more red tone to emulate that warmth, that sunburnt look. Let's just get into the product detail, shall we? that alongside some comparisons. You know I have a lot of bronzers, fam. I'm not gonna do all the comparisons because this video will be two hours long. What I'll do is compare it to my most recent bronzer purchases just so you could get an idea of the shade comparisons if you happen to have any of those same bronzers. Simply called Bronzer, our sun-kissed bronzer collection gives you the beachy glow you deserve all year long. Rich in pigment and effortlessly blendable, the bronzers come in four gorgeous sun-kissed shades. Our bronzers are vegan, cruelty-free, and are enriched with vitamins A and E. Oh, made in Italy. They retail for $22 each. And let's look at the ounces. 10 grams of product or 0.35 ounces of product. Not bad. And this is the compact again. I love the packaging. It's that soft matte black with the mented logo. I think this is in their matte gold or satin gold finish. You have the actual bronzer compact with the metallic rim, the actual bronzer powder, and a mirror that's edge to edge. So although a uh, standard size compact, the mirror is a great size. It feels heavy but light at the same time, and I really appreciate how thin it is. I feel that makes it ideal for storing it. If you happen to be going anywhere local with your mask on and you needed to pack up the bronzer, I think this is ideal to pack. And of course, on the back, you have the label and the suggested shelf life is 24 months. So we got some time with the bronzer. Thank gosh, because I just have so many. All the product details out the way. Why don't we come in a little closer? 
that's enough. First up, we have Beach Bum, and this is for the light part of the spectrum. Next up, we have Vacay, and this is for the medium part of the spectrum. So we see that Beach Bum is a little more yellow, and Vacay has a little more red in it, which I don't mind. I like that warmth. The Beach Bum definitely reminds me of Beige and Beauty from MAC, as well as the medium shade from Charlotte Tilbury's Airbrush Bronzer. And they're very smooth, very smooth. They're matte finish, as I mentioned before. I actually tried these on the other day. I really love how they apply, how they blend. I'm so sorry about those hairs. And I'm really happy with the performance. So let's get into these comparisons. Again, we have Beach Bum and Vacay. I just wanted to move them up my arm because we got plenty of swatches to go through, okay? Let's start off with Charlotte Tilbury's Airbrush Bronzer in medium. See how that looks? Looks. Yes, just I suspect it. Just try that again. A little lighter than Beach Bum. Beach Bum has like, it's like a yellow brown. Reminds me of Hula, which kind of makes me want to grab it. I'll grab it after I swatch tan. Here is tan from Charlotte. See how that looks. Similar to Vacay, although Vacay dare I say, has a little more red, whereas Tan is leaning a little more brown. Have to. This box, though, is just the worst to get a finger squash from this box. I don't get why they keep them doing design. Here is Hula Caramel, yes. Although, this looks a little more orange from Mented Beach Bum, and the Hula Caramel definitely looks a little more brown. What do we have next? Of course, we'll do the Fenty Beige and Gyal. I think this will be a little more red. How that looks. Most definitely looks a little more, dare I say, orange next to Vacay. Next up, we have Island Ting. This, I feel, is the more golden brown. Yes, similar to Beach Bum, although Beach Bum is giving me a little more, I gotta say. What do we have? Oh, wait, wait. Max Bayesian Beauty. Here we go. Oh, more golden or more neutral, I think, for sure. This is the one from Charlotte. This is Charlotte Medium, so the Charlotte Medium actually matches more with the MAC Beige and Beauty than the ones from Mented. And here we have Totally Topless. Let's see what we got here. Oh yeah, that might be a closer match to Vacay. Vacay is giving me a little more richness of color, dare I say a little more 20 And the Totally Topless, I think, leads leans more tawny brown, whereas the one from Mented is like more tawny red. And of course, Cossus, which I, poor thing, I haven't been using her at all. I have to bring her back into the rotation because I actually enjoyed this texture. This is in medium, and here we go. Okay, I think that actually likens to the one from Mented. Well, a little bit. Mented, I think, leans a little more yellow. This is a little more neutral golden. It matches up well with the MAC Beige and Beauty. What do we got here? Island Ting, Fenty. Even the Hula Caramel kind of matches up with the Cossus. <laughs> now that we have seen all those comparison swatches, I'm sure you just want to get this bronzer on your face. Why don't we start with Beach Bum? Going in with my Chikahoto F03. This is a much smaller size than the F01, which is a more traditional powder brush, but I wanted something a little smaller to fit right into the nose of my hollows. And it will be helpful if you had your mirror. So let's pick up a little bit and go right in there. Yeah, you could definitely see, it's like, I like the shade. It's a very interesting undertone. On me, it leans a little more yellow, but the texture is amazing. These are very silky smooth. They melt into the skin. Dare I say, they very much remind me of Charlotte's Airbrush Bronzer texture, which has been a hit. It still is for me, although I do get more color on the first application with the Mented Bronzer than I do with Charlotte's Bronzer if I'm using the medium shade. The medium shade, I have to build up some. This, I build up a little bit, same thing with Max Beige and Beauty. I like the color though. Again, very different from a lot of bronzers I have in my collection. If you see here, this is what we just applied down the arm. Maybe it matches up with Beige and Gal, which is strange because 
upon seeing them together. Okay, maybe they are similar because when I put them pan to pan, the undertones do look similar. Now let's go in the vacay. Make sure I wipe my brush so we can get a true representation of that shade. Let's see what this is giving us. Oh yes, getting a little more heat from this shade. Dare I say I prefer the vacay than the beach bum. The beach bum I like because it's something different. I don't have this in my collection, so I appreciate the tone. But traditionally though, I like my bronzers to lean a little more burnt-ish because I think that just gives a true representation of a bronzed complexion. And I am taking vacay on the rest of my face, placing it on the temple area of my forehead, as well as under the jawline. And why not? I have a smaller brush here. You're going in with my Sonergy mini cheek. Just, ooh, well, you know what? Maybe I should do Beach Bum, the color we have here, down the bridge of my nose. Perhaps vacay will be a little too much. I like that. Mm. Let's see how this looks on the crease. I'm not even gonna prep my lids actually. And I'm using the same brush, taking Beach Balm in my crease just to create a little more warmth here. Cause this is something that you can do or rely on technique wise. If you're not into eyeshadow, you're just into the cheek products, but your eyes look a little naked, you need a little something, vacay. So this is a great way to incorporate bronzer into your full-on makeup routine without just placing it on the hollows of your cheeks. You could actually place it on your eyes. I really like Vacay. I like what that's doing. I like Beach Bum. I like orange. However, this is looking a little more yellow versus Vacay is giving me a little more of that red, but the undertone is more tawny. Am I going nuts? I don't know. Why don't... <laughs> Let's go in with some blush. Yeah, this is the Mented Blush, which also are hits from the brand. I could go in Pinky Promise or I can go in with Clay Too Much. I think both are great shades for summer, excuse me, for summertime realness. You know, let's do Pinky Promise. I think that definitely is summer appropriate. Using my Wayne Goss Artist Large Brush, picking up Pinky Promise and just packing that down over everything. Ooh, I need to use this blush more often. This is why you need to stop buying so much makeup, okay? Because <laughs> you forget what you got, Alicia. Ooh, we're looking fresh. Fresh and bronzed. Dipping quickly into the Mented Eye Shadow Palette. Again, favorite from the brand. I would like, hmm. I'm gonna take this peachy matte shade and just strike it across my lid just to brighten it up as well as give the eyes a little bit of contrast. And why not? Why don't we just complete the whole look? No other than Mama Pat's Dark Star Mascara. I am so upset. I do not know where my mented brand nude lip liner is. I was looking all over it before I started filming and I cannot find it. Let's do brand nude there. I believe this is their semi-matte finish. Really one of my most favorite shades from them. It's like a smoky brown shade that I don't mind wearing with a light eye because I feel it just pulls my complexion together. It gives the lip a little bit of contrast, which usually, if in this case, I will go in with something lighter, but it works. If I insist on still adjusting the shade, I'll go in with their lip gloss in Pink About Me. Just on the center here. Mm -hmm. So here's a wide shot of both bronzers. Hopefully you can see the slight differences between them. All in all, I'm very happy with the Mented bronzers. I am pleased that they finally released some. I think the formula is outrageously beautiful, very easy to use. I think foolproof for a beginner who will encounter bronzers for the very first time. I can't speak for the other shades in the line. So if you happen to have picked up the deep brown or rich brown shade, let me know down below, as well as your foundation shades. So if anyone else is watching and reading the comments and they happen to be your same skin shade, perhaps you can help them out as a reference. If you are in and around my skin tone, 
I would go with Vacate, which is the second of the two, which is the medium shade. It definitely has a little more richness to it than Beach Bum, which is the light shade, but I much prefer the undertone of Vacay for me as a bronzer. Ultimately, I will use both. That's what I did the other day, actually. I applied Beach Bum first, and then I went very lightly on top with Vacay. So if I were to do that, I will take a smaller brush and just carefully layer both shades on. And I think that's an ideal cocktail if you are my skin tone and you insist on buying both. I know being on the medium part of the spectrum, you can go here and there in terms of blushes and bronzers. I would say though to pick one, I prefer Vacay on me, but if you rather go for the more yellow tone bronzer, if that has been your history in terms of you gravitating toward yellow brown tone bronzers and they look the best on you, then definitely get Beach Bum as I feel that is the shade that takes on that hue. Vacay definitely is gonna give you a little more tawny red. It's gonna give you more of that sunburnt feel. So if you like that tawny red undertone bronzer and you're deciding between the two, I will definitely go with Vacay, which is the shade for the medium part of the spectrum. All in all though, it has been bronzer city. My goodness. I have so many bronzers. What else is new? I did not need to buy these, but I'm always happy to support another black owned business, especially owned by women. But more so, I'm very pleased with the brand overall. I think they're solid and it is very inspiring and great to see that they have extended their line since the premiere of their nude lipsticks. Definitely can't wait to see what they have else in store for their brand to see it expand and see what other products they decide to add to the line. Let me know if you picked up the Mented Cosmetics bronzers, if you have them already, what shades you picked up, what are your favorites. If you don't like them so much, maybe there's something about the shade that you weren't really aligning with, let us know down below. And until then, fam, that is a wrap. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope this video helped. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and maybe consider subscribing to my channel. And until then, I'll see you in here again with another review, tutorial, another bronzer extravaganza, monthly favorites, or nightly life chit chat. Take care, and I will see you again soon.